Oy vey. Hi everybody, summer is over, fall is here, and I am going to show you some of my favorites for this season. Now I'm going to be transparent. Some of these things were gifted to me, some I bought, and one item I have an affiliate link to where I make a little commission but at no extra charge to you. If you decide to buy it, because it will be in the description box below, everything will be in the description box below, so why don't we just get started? Even though the temperatures have dropped, you still have to wear SPF. I mean, I hope you all know that, especially if you're over 40, if you're over 30 even, start now, or heck, if you're in your 20s. It's really important to use SPF. And I know a lot of them leave like a white cast and even the tinted ones, like the colors never match. Australian Gold has a new tinted SPF. Well, it's not new, but they have a new line of three colors, like a light, medium, and a dark. So this way it doesn't give you a white cast and it actually gives you a little color. I sometimes just put this on instead of foundation and I'm getting protected from the sun. Perfect. Now just because it's cool out doesn't mean that you should look pale. Like you still wanna have a little color, especially nowadays we're working from home and we're on camera and you know those webcams are horrible and they make us look pale enough. So there are self tanners out there and I reviewed a couple. I'll link the video right up here. But in the meantime, Skinny Tan sent me a PR package and what I really think is good for the fall is their tan and tone oil. And the reason why I say this is it's a light spray. It doesn't have any odor. It's natural ingredients. It has a little tint to it, no smell whatsoever. And I think it's good if you just wanna spray it on a little bit on your arms, on your chest, maybe a little on your face. It's not drying. And it gives you just that little hint of color a little while ago, I did a video for Wish Beauty. I can also link that up here. There's gonna be a lot of links here. I did a little B-roll and part of the B-roll was me filming my makeup brushes. And when I played back the video, I realized how dirty my brushes were. So I was in Costco and this product was only 10 bucks. So I figured, why not try it? It's the Style Pro brush cleaner. So it has like this little jar thingy and you put your brushes in it. Instead of me explaining, I'm just gonna insert some video right here. So if you have a powder brush, then you use soap and water. But if you have a concealer brush, you use the cleaner it comes with, which is vegan, but you can buy any brush cleaner that you choose. And you just pour a little in the container. Now here's the brush I'm going to clean. As you can see, it has a lot of concealer on it. It's pretty bad. Then you take this round thingy that has all of the brush sizes on it, and these pieces will go into the spinner. So for this brush, I'm going to use this one. Then you just pull it out like so. This is the spinner part, so I will just take that, stick it on there. So then I am just going to take this, and you have it in like that, and then I'm just going to turn it on. It spins, and you can see all the foundation coming off. Look at that nice color of beige. And then you want to pull it up a little bit, just so it dries off. And let's see how clean that got. I could still put it in a little more, but you can see it's definitely cleaning. So I'm gonna do it a little more. Really get in there. I mean, that's pretty good, right? I could probably do it a little more on the ends, but I mean, compared to the way it looked before, that's pretty good. 
but hold on to that dirty water tight or this will happen to you. Now, if that's not clean enough for you, you can always just use it as a fan, especially if you are over 40 and getting hot flashes. So you got yourself a $10 fan. This time of year, we're wearing darker lipsticks, but that doesn't mean your lip liner has to be darker. You can still use your nude one, but I have a problem with some of them either being too drying or they slip off and then all the lipstick comes off and with the mask, it's just a mess. So my good friend Lisa, and you might have seen Lisa in one of my other videos that I will link up here. She is a representative for a company called Farmisi. Farmasi? Farmisi. I'm probably butchering it. I'm sorry, Lisa. I'm sorry, Farmasi, whatever. But you know what? You should have called your company really good for a good price because she sent me this nude lip liner. I don't think it has a name. It's number 222. It is a lovely color. And it's funny because when I put it on, I said, oh, it went on too well. Like it didn't tug and it was a little moisturizing, not too, too much. I said, it's probably gonna slip off. Well, I put it on, I went to work, and by the time it was about two, three o'clock, I noticed that my lipstick didn't like slip off. It faded, but this lip liner really stayed on and I think this is such a good price point. They have not only lip liners, they have a whole bunch of other stuff. Just go to their site. Speaking of lips, you know I love my City Lips and I love City Beauty. I am a City Beauty partner. Yes, I have an affiliate link below, but this time of year, I don't know about you, I get this weird thing where my skin just starts to flake no matter what I use, especially on my scalp, especially on my face. So my go-to is this City Beauty Intensive Night Serum. I have reviewed this before, I will link it here. It is not too heavy, but it really, really moisturizes. As a matter of fact, City Beauty also has another new product. It's Brow Boost, and I actually did a video on my results after 30 days, and I can link that one right up here. I'm just a linking fool today. Some of the items that I'm gonna show you right now are not necessarily beauty items, but I'm going to show them to you anyway. I love candles. I don't know about you, but especially this time of year, there's something about having the windows open and that fresh breeze and a nice scent going on with some wine and some jazz music. I have a relative that started his own candle company called Road Trip Candle Company. And he started this when COVID hit because he felt since people can't travel, they can at least be taken back to their favorite state by getting a candle that smells like the state. For instance, the one that I got represents Boston because I was supposed to take a trip this spring to Boston, which never happened. The Boston candle smells like Boston cream pie. It is I mean, this candle is really good. It's a great price point, just like the lip liner. You're not gonna go spending too much money after you watch this video, I promise. Which leads me into something else that's not too expensive. So I went to everybody's favorite place, Target. And I never really look at their clothes that much, but I found some good stuff. First, I'm gonna show you a bralette and I wore it in another video. And what I love about it is a lot of the bralettes are almost like a bra or they're V-shaped, so they're not really covering what you need to cover when you wear it like under a shirt. I know sometimes you wanna have the strap showing, the lacy straps are nice, but what if you just want one to cover too much cleavage? And a lot of them just go deep. But this one, as a matter of fact, I loved it so much, I bought one in black. This one kind of comes up more. It doesn't come in a V, so it covers what you need to cover, which is, again, great. If you are on film, not film, if you are on your webcam for, you know, your video conferencing, you don't want to be showing off too much skin. 
unless that's your thing. But if you don't and you want to look a little more professional, it covers just enough so you can wear shirts like this that may be too low or they're a wrap around. And it's got a little lace in it, but it's not like too lacy where it looks like lingerie. I just love these and they were not expensive. I think they were like $13. I'll put the price here. I don't remember. As my husband says, sometimes I'm not prepared for these videos, but it's a lot of stuff. You gotta be the camera person, the set designer. You have to fix yourself and be your glam squad and make sure everything's perfect. There's no lipstick on your teeth. I don't know, is there lipstick on my teeth? I don't know, I need help. I need help in more ways than one. Come help me. The next thing I found, which I have been looking for a very long time for a pair of these, I wanted a pair of one of those like fake leather, like shiny leggings. Either they're too shiny, too thick where I'm sweating to death, they don't fit right. You can't tell, can you see them? I'll insert the picture here. This is me wearing them and they are so comfortable and I'm not sweating in them, but I'm not like cold. They are just the perfect, perfect material and they're not expensive and I love them so much that I also got the same brand, but in a camo style. They fit perfect and they're true to size. Go to Target, people. Tell them I sent you. Maybe they'll give me a uh, sponsorship. I doubt it. I don't got my together. Last but not least, my hair. Can we talk about my hair? I, th I think it's growing. I don't know, but it's just, it's still so frizzy. Even when I do a keratin, I just have to embrace the fact that I have frizzy-ish hair. And, you know, as much as I try, I'm trying, you know, I always see when I play back these segments that I just see so much damage. And I've always been against using like a hair piece or a hair clip PC thing, whatever. I won't do extensions yet. But sometimes I just don't want to be bothered. It's too much work. I have to go somewhere. I have to go to work. Glam Touche sent me some of their hair pieces. I tried the Messy Bun. I tried the long ponytail, which I think looks great, but I'm afraid that at my age, maybe I'm trying to look too young. But I found the perfect piece. It is the ponytail piece, but it's short and it's not obnoxious. It's got a nice texture to it. I will put the video right here of me putting it on. It was very easy to put in. It blended with my hair. It looks great. I would definitely wear this out in public and not be ashamed. I love this clip thing that it has. Clips like this, especially the banana clip, they're back in style. The 90s are coming back. Those are some good, good times. I hope you like this video. I will link everything below again. Some were gifted, I will note it. Some I paid for, I will note it. And City Beauty is an affiliate link. And just so you know, what I make in that affiliate link, I donate to Dog Rescue. So help me help the dogs and help you look beautiful. Have a great fall. And it's such a great pipe. Maybe. And it's such a great 